Hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 56 of Sonic Boom TV. This is a unboxing episode. Um, I have I know what this is because I've only got had one thing on order. So um, today, this comes from Real Gone Music. Um, this is my second order from them. Um, I got the uh, Faster Pussycat Whipped album from them, and this one will be. Dun, 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 local band gone big, sort of, Baton Rouge, shake your soul. This is the Hair Metal Heaven, it says. First ever US LP release, their 1990 debut album, Magenta Vinyl Pressing, limited to 2,000 copies. Now, Baton Rouge, I always thought they came from Baton Rouge. They did not come from Baton Rouge. They came from Pearl River, Louisiana, which was directly next to where I lived in Slidell, Louisiana. And for a time, probably when they came out, I actually lived like right on the close to the border of, of Pearl River, which is a small little town uh, in you know near Slidell. Um, but anyway, they came in, and this came out at in 1990, which was kind of the tail end of that uh, that hair metal stuff and i would not call them really a hair metal band they were more of a hard rock kind of band more along the lines of maybe of bon jovi than you know they weren't like the, the motley Cruz of the world they were more closer on the other end um which was okay because i love this band uh, they only put out two albums they put one on 1990 and 1991 then there's another album that came out in 1997 with i think it's all different people on it Except for the uh, Kerry, Kelly, Kelly Kelly Keeling, which was the singer guitar player, um, he he was on it, but I don't think he wanted it released. I, I don't I don't understand exactly what happened, but it was like some German company that that put it out. Um, so no, I don't think anybody even counts that. I've never heard it. I've never even heard, seen it. And the only reason I know about it is when I ordered this, I looked them up on uh, to see what Wikipedia had to say. And that was kind of in there, like it was a weird kind of thing. So, so I don't, I wouldn't count the third one. I, I think it's just called Baton Rouge as well. But this one, uh, I I bought both of their albums on CD long ago, uh, and it was just, it's one of those things that I let it go for a while. And then I come back and I'm really into it. Like I've been, as soon as I found out about this vinyl release, I've been, I've listened to this probably 30, 40 times. Uh, you know, both of their albums. Um, and they're both really good. You know, um, they, uh, they just have this like, it, it's hard rock. That's all I can say. It's a hard rock in style, um, but it's good. And it's got a, it's kind of got a pop uh, feel to it. Like, you know, radio friendly, I should say. Uh, more than a pop, but uh, but they uh, they didn't really you know get to where they could have been if they if that came out two or three years earlier. I think they would have been big, but they you know there's they do have fans because there's a couple people that are going to be watching this video. I know that want this or or and there's one guy uh, that does the off the charts uh, show and he's getting this because I told him that it was coming out and he didn't know. And so he hurried up and went and ordered it. So hopefully he got his today or, you know, we'll get it this week coming up. Um, but anyway, let's open it up and see what's going on inside. I got the guitar pick. And it didn't work. I gotta get a sharper guitar pick or something, man. It used to cut right through this stuff. Maybe they're using better plastic nowadays. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. So, cuts, gets it open. Uh, okay, so we've got plastic sleeve, I mean the paper sleeve, and the inside does it, it's plastic as well, no, no protection. Um, it's on magenta, it is very pink, very pink color. Uh, it's got a little schmutz in this middle there. So it's got the old Atlantic label. Um, which is, is, you know, interesting. They do have the Real Gone Music logo at the bottom there, if you see that. Um, I, I like that they do that, that they keep the original uh, 
uh, company that, that put it out. And I don't know if that's by contract or just because they want to keep it as close to what it would have looked like back then. Um, but there is no, no inner, nothing. There's no lyrics or anything like that. And that's, that's a little disappointing um, because the CD, which I don't know what I did with it. Uh, the CD itself had all the lyrics. Um, it had the same back cover, same front cover. Uh, actually, let me see something. The back cover actually has that on it um, of the case, but the inner sleeve back cover. But then they had this photo, which is slightly different, and then all the lyrics on the CD. So that's disappointing that there's no no lyrics to it. Um, but, you know, I know all the lyrics. They're not complicated songs to, to, to remember, you know. Um, so, their hits would, that, if I remember correctly, that at least got played on radio here, would be Doctor and Walks Like a Woman, the first two songs. But, it, it just, it it's like it doesn't stop. It's like, you, you every song is hit quality, as far as I'm concerned, as far as that style of music. Um, you know, that, that late 80s uh, hard rock slash heavy metal hair band, whatever you want to call it. Um, but there's a song called Big Trouble. It's About Time is a great song. Uh, Bad Time Coming Down. There's an instrumental called The Midge. Um, and I'm not a big fan of instrumentals, but I do like that one. And on the second album, on uh, Lights Out on the Playground, there's a, The Midge Part 2. So, uh, or The Midge 2, maybe it's just called. Yeah. Um, so... Th those kind of they're kind of neat you know just short very short they're like a minute long or something uh, on the second side there's uh baby is so cool young hearts melanie there was a time the storm is that's that's probably their best song on on this um great song and then there's hot blood moving and spread like fire um the band is kelly keeling lance bullen corky mccleeland scott bender and david Kremen. Um, and, uh, you know, they weren't together long, uh, a couple years, uh, and like I said, they put out two albums, which I think both are great. Um, you should, uh, if you could find them, pick them up. I mean, th this is, I think there's an, a vinyl version that was done in other countries, so it's probably going to be expensive if you get a copy of the original. Um, but this, Lights Out on the Playground, as far as I know, has not had any vinyl pressing. So I'm hoping that that comes out. Um, but uh, I want to look at this record real, a little bit closer because my Faster Pussycat album had a scratch on it when I got it. And I'm just hoping that this does not have anything like that. A little dust on it on that side. That looks good, though. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. Um, but this is a really pink. I mean, it, it, I don't know how it's looking on, on the camera. I think it's looking more bubblegummy. But this is like a dark pink um, kind of thing. Uh, maybe I can hold it over here. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But anyway, check this album out if you um, if you haven't um, and you're into that kind of music. Um, the uh, the cover, it look, it's okay. It's It's... it's definitely been scanned from from the uh original uh i don't think this is an original uh you know the original photo um i think it's been scanned from the the cd but it it it's a good quality scan it's not too pixelated or anything like that um so anyway check it out bat bat baton rouge shake your soul um i think it was 21 23 dollars something like that um, so a great price for it. Uh, I don't know what the shipping is, a couple dollars, but cheaper than what you would buy in a in a record store or Walmart or wherever you buy records. Um, still, still a good price. Whatever I whatever it was, I can't remember. I should have wrote that down. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. Um, I I've got a whole bunch of stuff in a cart on that website as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on that yet. I'm my start my new job in a week. Um, and then we'll see. Um, I, I may, I had a rough week this week, uh, as far as money goes. Um, so, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see. And then 
I don't know what will be coming up except for the Metallica review, uh, ranking system thing, whatever, and uh, maybe some other bands I'll do rankings on. Um, I had mentioned a few, and a couple people were interested in, in what I would rank things. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but that's it for this one. Um, go check that album out if you if you haven't heard it before. Look it up. I'm sure it's on like the, all the streaming things if that's the way you got to go. Um, but uh, check it out. Um, they're a very good band, um, and I think they were they were just too late to the game, and they got overlooked, I think, um, by a lot of people. But the people that know them love them, as far as I know. So um, that's it. See you guys later.